Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on Morel Lavallee lesion. A Morel Lavallee lesion is a closed traumatic soft tissue degloving injury, characterized by separation of the dermis from the underlying fascia due to a shearing force. Diagnosis requires high index of suspicion with presence of an area of ecchymosis, swelling, fluctuance, and skin hypermobility in the polytrauma patient with underlying fractures. Treatment is generally operative irrigation and debridement for most lesions given the proximity to planned surgical incisions and increased risk of infection. For its epidemiology, it is present in up to 8% of acetabulum fractures, most often along proximal lateral thigh, in the paratrochanteric region, and to a lesser extent gluteal, lumbosacral, and abdominal areas. This is due to hypermobility of skin in these regions. The main risk factor is high energy, shearing trauma. Its pathophysiology is divided into four stages. Shearing forces to soft tissue envelope lead to separation of the dermis from the underlying fascia. Injured lymphatics and vasculature from the injured subdermal plexus produce. These components are then replaced by serosanguinous fluid as the lesion enlarges. Finally, if left untreated during the acute stage, local inflammation leads to pseudocapsule formation and lesion maturation as the body attempts to sequester the space. Bacterial colonization of the fluid occurs in up to 46% of lesions. This picture shows the anatomy of the skin soft tissues. morel lavallee lesion develops deep to subcutaneous fat and superficial to deep fascia. For clinical presentation, there should be high clinical suspicion for a MLL in a polytrauma patient with a high energy mechanism. The symptoms are often minimally symptomatic or marginalized due to underlying distracting injuries or patient body habitus. Up to 33% of lesions are missed at the time of index evaluation. Chronic lesions may lead to cosmetic issues. For physical exam, on inspection, there is ecchymosis, swelling, fluctuance, and skin hypermobility. Skin discoloration may not be apparent until several days later. For neurovascular, the key indicator is paresthesia of overlying skin. For imaging, radiograph should be done to evaluate underlying proximal femur, acetabulum or pelvis fractures and it may show soft tissue swelling. CT scan is used to measure size of lesion to determine management, and soft tissue windows will show slice of fluid within fascial plane. Ultrasound will show a hypoechoic space superficial to fascial layer. These are some pictures of CT scan showing the lesions pointed by the arrows. For treatment, conservative treatment are for small lesions, where we can give compressive therapy, and percutaneous drainage with drain placement. Operative treatment is needed for larger lesions such as single incision or dual incision irrigation and debridement, and open debridement with resection of the fibrous capsule. For complications, recurrence is the most common complication. It occurs up to 56% in patients with non-operative management and 15-20% to in those with open debridements. Other complications are pseudocyst formation, skin necrosis, and perioperative infection. That's all for this video. Thank you.